All right, man, what's up? Got the family with me. We're going to pick up this uh, G-Body so we can make five different G-Body consoles. I'm two for five with the, with the boxes, with the new design. But uh, we, we trying to get the G-Body in action because everybody asked about G-Body, bubbles, donks, C-10s. No, anything else, man, I'm gonna try to get. But uh, we definitely picking this car. We're doing a little bit other other work as far as like um, some little some little wiring and one mechanical issue. I should be able to have this car done. I want to say in a week. Um, the consoles I should be able to get five in two days. Five templates, not the actual consoles. But uh, I'm gonna adjust how I see fit. And these will could include the full style consoles, like the big the big boys. Only thing I'm worried about is shipping. I don't want nothing to get damaged with shipping, but uh, <clears throat> better pick the car up. Yeah, I'll cut y'all on when we get down. We got Mason right here. What's going on, YouTube? Hey, <laughs> trusting in the game. So I can give y'all a little rundown real quick. A bunch of little stuff. So really, I want the car, like I said, to make the console. And uh, it's gonna be one of the first things I do. Make a center console. Uh, clean up all this wire on, you know, yeah, stuff like that. We're gonna make a back deck for the G bodies. Kind of want to do a speaker speaker pod for this area, but we'll see how that go. But yeah, that alarm that don't work, take that out. Bunch of little small stuff. But yeah, really, I'm trying to get the G body console ASAP. A lot of people keep asking for them. And yeah, we're gonna give it to them. guys out here Logan we got Mason's Cutlass Supreme so the reason why we was able to get this car is because uh, I'm trying to make G-Body everything for the site since I'm trying to make G-Body everything say hey did you bring me the car I make you a console for free you don't have to pay for nothing but he said all right that's cool i got some other stuff i need you to do too i was like all right that's great that'd be good for the channel yeah so i'm gonna have to go in between both the camera and the uh phone because the phone got a bunch of dust in i just blew in and then it got smoky so not too much doing i'm not doing too much back here but uh i'm gonna clean up some of this over there. Okay. So this door is pretty all right. We're gonna run the speaker wires inside the harness. I mean, uh, the grommet. That should be it for that side. We're gonna come back here, make a rear deck. Um, trying to see if we're gonna make a speaker pod that fits here. Trying to see, trying to see, cause uh, I see use a seat belt on the other side, so I don't want to spend too much time doing something like that when it's gonna vary from car to car. Then we're gonna have the option for a full size console and the short console. Both gonna have the transmission hump on it. And I might do a cookie, a cookie cutter for this one. Basically, the one that I do for the box Chevy, the cheap one. You put together yourself. But uh, all the big consoles, full, fully built consoles, will start at 350. 
and go up from there. They be fully put together. So as soon as you get it, all you gotta do is open the box up, put it in your car. Or if you get a cookie cutter, you gotta do the rest of your work. All right, we got this door here. The door has to come off. The spring is going up out of there. And the hinge on this bottom hinge is busted. So I'm running these speaker wires through the grommet. Take this alarm out that ain't even hooked up, you see. Um, I did notice that no light, because I moved, I put it in the garage at night, and I was wondering what's up with the light. But uh, that's that. You got an EQ, possibly want me to put in there. I think I am. And then we got a small bit of mechanical stuff. All right, check. You got the power wire. He said it ain't hot. Uh, that's how they do it in Jordan, man. That's how that, that's how that, that's how the box shit be out about it. Somebody ran it through the, through the fender. And y'all be wondering why the cars catch on fire. Shops, actual shops is doing stuff like that too. Which is mind blowing. Alright, so you got an old 350. You got a cooling leak up here. Alright, we're getting a thermostat neck gasket for that. That'll fix that leak. And then we got the bottom radiator hose. So he went to the shop. They told me he don't need another one. Definitely need another one. Cause it's gonna blow at any moment. And uh, usually when that happens, the car ran hot. And uh, it ran hot so long that the, the, the hose expand and contract. But that's not going back down. Though. Next thing you don't happen to that is gonna blow. So that's gonna get replaced. Um, the battery was relocated, looks like. This is the ground for the car. And, uh, yeah, triple ground. One, two, three right there. I'm just gonna keep that like it is, since it's working. Um, and then from here, I'm just checking out everything else all this other wiring and stuff. This is that power wire. Just take that out. Literally, gonna be doing a lot of that cooling wires. Making it look a little better for them. In support of helping me out with the SCS website. But yeah, we definitely trying to get some G-Body stuff up there. For everybody who keep asking about G-Body. Now, I'm about to go edit a couple videos and I'm come back and finish my box and then get these consoles together. But uh, let's give y'all a little update. We definitely about to have some G-Body parts. Let's check it out, boy.